the use of artificial intelligence is overflowing, from teaching machines how to make better beer to transforming the U.S. military and the entire federal government, which increased AI contracts by almost 1,200 percent over just a year, ending last August. So now the White House is unveiling three new requirements for federal agencies. They now must publish a list of the AI systems they're using, verify there is no danger to the public, and name an AI chief for each agency. The American people have a right to know that when and how their government is using AI. The private sector has already felt the shady side of artificial intelligence, with stars like Taylor Swift and Kelly Clarkson having their likenesses used to hawk diet supplements and fake giveaways, while other artists have had their voices copied. I heard a demo a while back. I said, I don't even remember writing that song. They went, uh, you didn't. But now some Republicans in Congress say the White House approach is an overreach and could put the U.S. behind other countries in the race to lead the world in AI. Unnecessary new laws could stifle AI innovation, slowing the arrival of life-enhancing and life-saving breakthroughs, not to mention we don't want China on our heels. The Treasury Department has also released a report that says banks are struggling to fend off AI-powered scammers trying to get to Americans' money. In Washington, Caroline Shively, Fox News.